Let's create this AI video animation. This effect is basically going to be using AI to alter the original video just using a few keywords and it's pretty amazing what I can do with uh, this AI. So in this video I'm going to go through and show you how to do that. Here is my raw video clip but I want to add in some AI images. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some markers. So I will press M on my keyboard and I am going to add a marker and marker here. And uh, then I am going to press R on my keyboard and uh, just select the range between the two markers. Then go up uh, to the export button up here. If you don't see this option, click on add destination and drag this uh, export image uh, sequence here. Close uh, this window and uh, go on export button and click export image sequence. Go on settings and uh, choose JPEG uh, image and hit next and save on your desktop or where you want. I will name it uh, this folder AI images and uh, we need to wait that uh, Final Cut export these images. Okay, now I am going to go to this uh, DALI website. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, this is what we are going to use to add AI to change the images. So now click uh, upload an image. I am going to click on the first frame and click upload. Uh, then I am going to click on skip cropping. Click this button here and drag this generation frame over the image that you want to change. And now go on erase tool and select the part of the image that you want uh, to change. Go to the text box uh, up here and just type in statue holding a map and click generate. This software will use these words to come up with an image and uh, blend it into the original image. Once it's uh, generated the image, it uh, gives you an option of four different images that you can choose from. And uh, it's actually amazing how good this software do this. I'm going to choose this one and click uh, accept and go on this button and save this uh, image to my downloads folder. Now I will uh, go back and I will upload another image. Uh, the more uh, frames or images you do, the better it will look uh, on your video. So I will uh, select again this uh, frame. I will go on eraser tool and I will erase this part of the image that I want to change. I will go on text box and uh, I will uh, type uh, statue holding uh, a book and click on generate. And I will wait uh, that uh, this image is generated and I will choose this one, click accept and uh, download. And I will repeat this process for all other images. Let's go back in Final Cut Pro and drag all uh, of uh, images that we created in AI in Final Cut Pro timeline and uh, go up here on modify and click on change duration and type in 2 and hit enter then drag it to this marker. Now if I click play we can see our effect but this is very fast. I will go on export this video, this clip and I will uh, export it to my desktop. Click save. Now drag this clip back on your uh, Final Cut Pro timeline. And now we need to find where our uh, animation uh, starts. And select with range tool this uh, animation. Go up here to this uh, speed wheel and select slow 50% and again go to this uh, speed wheel and down here video quality and optical flow and wait uh, that analyze for optical flow. We can delete our old uh, clip, we don't need it anymore. Now if I play my clip we can see our animation. We can change this uh, animation, we can uh, speed it up by dragging this uh, 
marker here. Now let's play. And we can also slow it down. Let's see. You can play with these settings and adjust it to your liking. And uh, that's it how you do this cool animation. I hope that you learned something new today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel for more videos like this. You can also uh, ask me any question uh, down below in the comments. I will see you next time.